Hello. Welcome back to this channel, which has been dormant for like a year. To be honest, it's like 11.30 on a Sunday night. This is mostly just for friends that I haven't caught up with in a long time because it's been a little busy in New York, but let me, let me take you through it. Or if you just wanna know like how this random stranger is doing in New York, if you were like, oh my God, the school has such a cool wall here. Like, it's just me making a video. And if you don't know me, let's get into this video then. <laughs> so the first topic is physical body. Wow. So like, how am I doing workout wise? I just wanna say, people hella work out in New York. And I think it's like absolutely crazy. It's almost impossible for individuals to be chunky Recently, I've been doing bar every Tuesday. Shout out to my girl, Jenna. She is the best bar instructor. That just kind of gets me into my grind. I would like to do workouts in my living room. I just don't like going to the gym personally because I don't like being watched. I just kind of want to work out in my own space. And if I have really shit form, <laughs> I guess it's not good because I could be doing it better, but like, I don't want people to watch me. Honestly, Pamela Reef is the shit. Like, people think Chloe Ting is hard, go try Pamela Reef. That shit is so hard, she does not take breaks. So I try to do that, like, on top of bar. My favorite, like, passive time type of thing that isn't, like, actively working out is city biking. Guys, city biking is the shit. Like, it's obviously, don't pay ride to ride. Get, like, a monthly pass. The monthly city pass in New York is, like, $15. It's so fucking worth Like, what the fuck? So, that's what I've been doing. City biking, bar class, Chloe Ting slash Pamela Reef. And, uh, yeah, that is my physical body. Emotions. <laughs> it literally just says emotions. To be honest, I've been so emotionally chill since moving here. Like I know a lot of people think like New York is very like uptight and like very like go, go, go type of feeling, but I kind of thrive off of that. I personally am kind of like that. You know how there's like that like Ben Platt type of talking where you just talk really, really fast. That's kind of how like I internally operate. Wait, we're supposed to be talking about emotions. Anyways, I think I'm doing quite well. I. Honestly, I haven't like cried in a while. Like I'll cry in like a movie, right? I like almost cried when I watched Shang-Chi like two weeks ago or something like that. But I have not cried for my own sadness in quite some time. I think it's like a pretty darn good sign. I have this theory that September and October are like the worst like emotional just general months. But like honestly, it's been kind of chill. Nothing like out of the blue crazy, so. I would say like things I would highlight is I really like cooking. I feel like it like grounds me and makes me feel like very like zen, you know? And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's been. Okay, third attribute, relationships. Honestly, I've been pretty happy with like my relationships in general recently. I would say I've felt less anxious about my relationships now more than ever in my life mostly. I used to feel very socially anxious about the construct of like meeting up. But in regards to relationships, like I think I'm really happy with my friendships. I feel like I've really restructured the way in which I decide to spend time with people. Previously, I feel like I would want to spend time with people that shared similar love for things that I like. So say someone like loved classical music or say like someone liked the movies that I liked. I'd be like, oh, we'll totally get along. But I would never like evaluate like their quality as a friend, you know? And like they could be like a total asshole and I'd be like, oh, well, they like classical music. So I guess I like can learn a lot from this friendship. But that's like not in the end of the day, what makes friendship good? Like what makes a friendship good is like, you enjoy them as a person. Next up is time. And I don't really know what that really refers to, but I think I could kind of speak on this because this is actually something I wish I could work more on. I'm not lazy, but I feel like I'm not as efficient as I used to be when I lived in New York pre-COVID. I think a lot of that is due to the fact that I don't go into the office anymore. When you have to go to the office, it's like you work a nine to five schedule, right? Like you have to be in certain places at set times. But now like work from home is so fluid. I need to like 
be willing to just go out more. I think like I am a very habitual individual. So like once I like something, I'll go to and do the same things over and over. So I'm like, oh, New York's kind of boring, but it's not obviously. It's just like, I do the same things all the time. Yeah, it's probably the one thing I can improve upon most out of all these topics. Okay, so next up is career and mission. I feel pretty uh, good about this right now. I'm working at Teach for America. The people there are like the nicest people I've ever worked with in my entire life. They're like very orientation leader-esque. I recently got accepted into a fellowship, which I'm going to start in November, so that's exciting. So career's been good. Next up, finances. Oh my God. Okay, honestly, my finances are not bad. I think for someone that works in nonprofit in New York, I obviously am not making like, one in like investment banking or like, tech would be making right like it's not like crazy money and I think I'm happy with where I'm at right now but instead of buying a lot of things all the time I make like a dump like what I mean by that is like I buy something really heavy and it like breaks my wallet for example two things that have been on the top of my list and you can be like oh that's not that expensive but like it is kind of expensive it is expensive one is like i really want to get this one reformation dress and it's like 230 dollars or whatever and like i don't need it it's like a summer dress it's about to get to winter time i've gone to the store in the past month maybe like five times just to try it on i really like it but i know i'm not gonna wear it anytime soon and then the other thing is i've really been eyeing this celine wallet and Obviously Celine is not cheap. I think I should just like analyze this mentality and see like what that really means to me I think I am more of like an investment piece type of Purchaser now rather than buying things that I'm like, oh, I'll probably not wear this next year. So that's how finances are going last one is Contribution and spirituality. Um interesting. Okay. I think another way to phrase this is community life and this is kind of tangential, but I realized, okay, so I dog sat two weeks ago or like a week ago and I was like, holy crap, I really want a dog. But something else I realized is like so many people in my neighborhood have dogs, like such a weird sense of community that was built because it's like, apparently people just like know each other's dogs in the area. Like you have to understand New York is massive, but people just like know each other's dogs in the West Village. I realized what a community there is built around my neighborhood that I honestly have not really felt before. Um, a lot of the brownstones in our neighborhood are like really well decorated for Halloween right now. For the first time ever, I genuinely mean ever, I am actually excited about like fall and like Halloween and like holidays. When I was really young, I my parents didn't take me out for Halloween and like I remember like there were certain Christmas days like it would just pass like regular dates because we like didn't set up a tree or anything. But anyways, like I, I felt so, ex I feel so excited right now. Like I bought myself a pumpkin and like I bought pumpkin muffin mix and like made it. And I know that sounds like super basic, but like it's, it's so joyful. Like whatever, fuck capitalism, I know. But like it's joyous, okay? And it, like it makes me happy. Find a lot of joy in the small things just from like dog walking for a week. Okay, I think that's the end of the video. I <laughs> covered all seven areas that were required on the website that I was looking at. It is almost uh, midnight and I can't believe I recorded this. I have a feeling, okay, knock on wood, I will edit this and post it because I know my college roommate wants to watch this video. So thank you, Elaine, for watching this video. And thank you to maybe like 10 other random strangers that might watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. This was just a random update. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys another time. Bye.